colloidal silver. Colloidal silver. Colonic silver. Colloidal silver is something everybody should have in their medicine cabinet. Just a teaspoon under the tongue. It like, I'll have to look at what it does. Mm -hmm. Fights inflammation. Kills parasites. Keeps flowers fresh. We can wash our fruits and vegetables with it. Yes, it is safe for kids. Yes, it's safe for a newborn. I put it in my dog's water bowl. And that's how you nebulize colloidal silver. And it's linked on my storefront so you can stay healthy. Colloidal silver? Really? People still try to use that? All right. No. No, it's not a thing. What is colloidal silver? Colloidal silver is one of a number of different preparations of silver that have been used in medicine and also like lab stuff too. Colloidal silver is kind of like silver milk, if you will. It's a solution of silver ions that are just suspended in the liquid. They won't settle, but they're not dissolved all the way either. And while silver nitrate has been used medicinally, and we do sometimes still use it for very specific applications, colloidal silver was always kind of wishy-washy to begin with in terms of whether or not it really worked. And then, you know, we figured out like antibiotics and so we didn't need to use it anymore. But why did people want to use it in the first place? So silver nitrate has been known for a long time to have some kind of antimicrobial ability. And it's because silver ions can attack proteins and just denature them. They can react with a whole bunch of different parts of the protein and just make the proteins not work. This isn't specific to bacteria necessarily, but a single celled organism is gonna have a harder time dealing with that than you or I, so you know. Now colloidal silver, as I said, is not the same thing as silver nitrate. Colloidal silver doesn't really work quite the same, if at all. And in fact, when you drink it, you're kind of just giving yourself heavy metals poisoning. Not the worst heavy metals poison, cause silver is, moderately tolerated by the body, but it literally has no benefit to the body whatsoever. It's not essential. It has no biological role. And if it accumulates enough in your body, it'll turn your skin blue. Now, it might be somebody who's like, all right, come on, Kim Thug, you ain't going to just get me with that Argyria argument. I know I have to drink a lot of silver for that to happen. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't actually. It doesn't take a lot for it to start happening, and you won't always know it's happening if it doesn't start on your actual skin. Because you see, Argyria can also infect your organs, and those might start turning blue. And those can also end up suffering from some systemic toxicity problem from the silver metal that's just kind of coating your organs now. So you really don't want to take it at all, but you still can't really know how much you're taking. These are not real medicines. These are alternative medicines, AKA dietary supplements, AKA the FDA isn't really regulating it like that. AKA that bottle that says 100 PPM might have anywhere between zero and 500 PPM. And who knows what it was cut with? You also gotta remember that silver ore co-occurs with galena, lead ore. So, I don't know where they're getting their silver from to make this colloidal silver, but I mean, I wouldn't take it. Nebulizing it is even worse. Like, so much worse. I, what? You're literally breathing heavy metal fumes. Don't do that. One, when you do things like that, it's much easier for whatever you're putting in your body to cross that blood brain barrier, that oh so precious shield around your mind and really start messing you up. But two, unless you are 120,000% certain of what's in this solution that you're breathing, you should not be breathing it. I would not do that. And again, there are no actual health benefits to taking colloidal silver. Just goggle some lemon juice. Goggle some salt water and lemon juice. That, that will do it. That is plenty potent for antimicrobial activity in your throat. You do not need to gargle heavy metal solutions. Silver is a heavy metal. It's not good for you. Please don't ingest silver in any form, unless your doctor is prescribing a topical silver medication to you. But yeah, this is straight up in the, in the trash heap of alternative medicine, not good for you. Some would refer to it by the term quackery. It is, it is not good. Don't do it. It's, I promise you, there's genuinely no benefit to taking or ingesting colloidal silver. 
It is a defunct medication that was kind of questionable to begin with. It rose out of what we thought what was very legitimate science where silver nitrate does have efficacy, but colloidal silver itself, we know for a fact is not useful in any way and can in fact harm you. And for all the reasons that people might want to take it, there are alternatives that are known to work and work better with fewer negative side effects. Silver being one of the metals of antiquity, like lead and gold and mercury and iron and tin, is pretty cool, actually. There's been a lot of things that it's been used for in history. It's got a whole bunch of lore associated with it. And I mean, it's also really gorgeous. I, I happen to like silver. It happens to be one of my one of my favorite metals. But please don't eat it. Please don't, don't, don't eat it. It's not gonna do anything for you internally. If you or anyone you know is considering taking colloidal silver supplements, don't. Just don't. Skim thug.